Hey, this is works. This is work. Now he said, you're my first teacher. Uh, thank you. Igor's athleticism evolved as a sixth grader when, next to his family's apartment, he discovered a gym, his sanctuary for boxing and working out. I can't re really explain it, you know, some kids wanted to go build Legos, I, I wanted to go do push-ups. And play basketball. Recruited to play at St. Ignatius College Prep, a private Catholic school in San Francisco where he was also a good student. Elizabeth Purcell taught the study of the American dream through literature. Mostly he was just a sweetheart. A, a, a little boy in some ways in a great big body. In some ways very wise beyond his years, I think because of his experiences. Igor aspired to be a professional basketball player with no interest in football. Let go. Until a fateful meeting. While in the stands watching his friends play football, he was spotted by a former SI coach, Vince Tringali. He's the old football, like Parcells kind of guy, you know, get in your face and be like, what are you doing? What are you not playing? Why, you know, you got all this talent, you're just wasting it. You know, whoever told you that you were a basketball player was lying to your face. You know, you're a football player, go out there, you know, and I was like, you know, maybe, maybe he's making some sense. So after that, I, uh, I came out to uh, spring football. Even if you're not a sports fan, if you're an American, football has likely been part of your life somehow, from Pop Warner to watching the Super Bowl. For Igor Olshansky, an immigrant from the Ukraine, football was completely foreign to him. But once he tried it, he liked it. I like the camaraderie aspect of football. You know, like this is, this is a war and, you know, everyone's fighting for the same goal. And it was just very, very appealing to me. His coach, Joe Vollert, recalls an example of number 76's learning curve. We tried him on offense, but uh, quickly realized he's probably more of a defensive player. In one of our first spring drills, the coach asked him to get in a pass set, and you know, you stop that defensive guy from getting to me, the quarterback. Uh, and so he gets in his pass set, the guy comes running by him, and Igor just reaches out a hand, grabs him, and throws him to the ground. And, and coach said, well, we have some rules in this game, and you, you can't just do that. I was just kind of learning on the ropes, you know, falling down a lot. I remember the first game, I must have fell down like every single time. They cut me, you know, and I just didn't really, you know, didn't know how to use my hands. He learned at a camp at the University of Oregon in Eugene, which offered the novice a scholarship. Then, as a senior back at St. Ignatius, he made more tackles. I'm Igor Olchansky, the man who makes the tackle. But still, kind of like really no concept of the game. Just basically going out there, using my, you know, athleticism, and using my strength. Despite other offers, he was loyal to the University of Oregon. For first noticing him, and the psychology major started grasping more about the gridiron by his second year. Just really understanding how they're blocking me and why they're blocking me like that and what are they trying to accomplish. When he got it, he got it. A two-time Ducks top defensive lineman. Sports Illustrated magazine listed him as a member of its All Bowl team after the 2002 Fiesta Bowl. And that was my breakout game, I think. You know, I had a, like two or three tackles for loss that game. And that's when I started playing, you know, real fo football, as I call it. You know, really know what's going on and, you know, being, uh, being a dominant player. Often crediting his biceps, or guns as he likes to call them, he was hungry to learn, as his defensive line coach, Steve Greatwood, recalls. He needed to really learn how to play the game, and he took after it with a passion. He was, he was an extremely motivated young man that, uh, you know, wanted to be out there and wanted to be in the fray, and did a great job. He was part of some big games, including the Holiday Bowl in San Diego. The Oregon Ducks making their first ever appearance in this game. But a defining moment came, the end of his junior season. I felt that I wasn't going to become a better football player, be staying at Oregon another year. My last game at Oregon, I had like 14 tackles, three and a half sacks. Uh, that was the, uh, it was the homecoming too, so it was a big game. My dad was there and it was kind of like, I looked at my dad and I'm like, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready to go to the NFL. I'm ready to go to the next level. Before the 2004 combine, where teams evaluate prospects, the NFL predicted he'd be a fourth round draft pick. And I knew better than they did. I, mean, I knew that I was going to go at the combine. I knew I was going to run fast.